the riders the tools. You're empowering them with the with the uh, the knowledge to, to aim for the target, and by doing that, they're able to then hold themselves when things go wrong. You're giving them that power. Yes, please. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Whoa! Yeah. Four strides there. Sorry, five strides there, and he's just gone on four. He can straight away tell that he didn't hold enough. What happens is they just know that wasn't right. And can you feel how, oh, can you see then how the confidence can be ebbed away from somebody because things are going wrong and they're not sure why. Mm. Whereas at least this way, he can tell straight away what went wrong mm. there because of what happened. He took four instead of five. Therefore, he didn't, the stride was too long. He didn't hold enough. He come and do it again properly. One, two, three, four. Whoa. Okay, what we've just been doing there is, a, is an exercise called, that I call stride relation. And what we're really trying to do is get our riders to feel the step underneath. If you like, they've got to react to what the horse and the ponies are doing. If they're not feeling that stride pattern, if they're not feeling the step that their horse is taking, it's very difficult for them to make that link. By doing that, they're able to uh, straight away feel the stride, feel what's happening underneath and be able to react, react in the right way. But more importantly, they're able to start to do something about it, even the lengthening and the shortening that we saw going on there. When you're doing that as a rider, it all of a sudden gives you a lot more confidence. That not only do you know what you're trying to achieve, but you know how to go about doing it. And again, all these type of exercises are empowering the riders to have the control, but also to be able to hit at the targets that they're aiming for. And that all encourages confidence in their riding.